So you don't have time to consume an entire podcast. That's okay. Enjoy the highlights on TRS Clips. Make sure you subscribe. Make sure you hit that bell icon. Hmm. Is there like a one-off professor who's just like some yes. sort of? Yeah. So talk about those one-off professors also. So there was this one professor. Uh, his name is Adam Grant. I'm sure you've heard of him. Yeah. Uh, very popular on YouTube and Instagram. Uh, the way he used to teach uh, was different, right? And he's a one-off professor, right? And every university, every college, every student has this one-off professor who he talks about. So this is my guy. What's the context on, like the subject? And all? He used to teach organizational behavior. Okay. Which so is, how which organizations is work, right? Okay. So basically how, how, how to motivate your teams and how to mm. uh, make sure that, you know... Uh, they're behaving a certain way, how to negotiate with your business partner, right? How to do it in a way. So it's basically about leadership and how to live your life, but it's called organizational behavior, right? Mm. So the way he used to teach us was, he, the, the two or three things, right? And I haven't answered this question before ever, so I'm going to just sort of think it out loud. First is that the professor has an aura, right? The professor inspires you, right? And he asks you a question and you want to be the first one to answer that question. Right. So he builds this rapport with you, right, where you're studying to impress. Mm. Right. And that's a great motivator. Think mm. about it. I have to impress this professor because he's a kid. Right. Mm. So they build that aura around them that wants, that makes people want to just sort of impress. And that's number one. Number two is they don't teach anything. Right. What they will do is they will tickle you to think yourself, right? They will tickle you to get curious. So, you know, in one of the classes, he's like, how will you uh, strike a deal with someone you are doing business with in a way that you're also happy and that other person's also happy? Like, how will you create a win-win, right? The he, the way he will put off that question, right? He, he put across a question in the classroom. He'll be like, Hi, now I want to know this answer, right? Now, I am in pursuit of the answer. He just tickled me a little bit. He never did not teach. He did not preach. He did not say step 1A, step 1B, step 1C. Yes, and he bola. He just asked a question in a way that was inspiring me. And now I want to go and find out the answer. Right? Now, how will I go find out the answer? I will go, you know, see research on YouTube. I will like read the book. I will talk to friends. I will investigate. Right? So I think good professors will just make you curious about the subject. Right? They will throw off some statistic. And, they'll, and you'll be like, whoa, wow, really? Achha, aise hota hai? should not have to figure this out, mm. right? They'll make you uncomfortable, right? And then you'll want to sort of, uh, they'll jar you. They'll, you know, if you're like a straight line, they'll put you like somewhere here and then you have to figure out how to come back on that straight line. Mm. I think that's what, does that make sense? I mean, yeah, I'm, no, I'm no, just no, sort I, of I get, um, I get what thinking you're saying. out loud. It's it's an approach that is not just reading out textbooks right. and instead, so it's, it's kind of an inception approach. Basically, when you're trying to convince someone rather than telling them to do something, you... Uh, convince them that that thing that they should do, they should be doing anyway. Correct. It's, it's, it's a technique used to actually persuade people that uh, rather than selling you this cup, I'll say that, yo, dude, you know, I wish you had a great cup mm. to drink coffee. Let me explain. I have, I have an example. So there's a professor at Master's Union, right? Mm. Teaches accounting. Mm. And do you think accounting is one of the most boring courses ever? Mm. I think most people will agree, right? Yeah. And so this professor took it upon himself. Yeah, I want to make accounting exciting, right? So what he did was he said, he allotted, the class is 60 people, right? So he allotted in groups of six each, 10 groups. To each group, he allotted one local business, right? A local business could be an Uber driver, could be a Dhawa, could be anybody, right? And what he told them is that, okay, now you guys figure out a way. Okay, this Uber driver has a business, but he doesn't have books of accounts. This Dhawa is a business, but he doesn't have books of accounts, right? This like local shop, mom and pop store, like Kirana Dukan, has a business, not doesn't have books of accounts. Now, whatever you've learned, Right, which I taught you in the first couple of hours and I gave you some videos to you. Now you guys will go and become the accountant for these small businesses and put their books in order. Mm. And then you will tell me how putting the books in order actually improved their business. Mm. Okay. Now imagine the student. Right. Earlier the student was like, accounting kya hai, yaari kya line manate rate hai, ab to But as soon as the student realized what accounting actually did for those businesses, Right. So one of the accounting classes, one of the, the Uber driver project, what they found out after they did the analytics and they put the invoices, all of that, they realized that this Uber driver actually earns more between three and six p.m. Right. Because at three and six between three and six p.m. he's close to his like lunch place, where he gets the maximum like most rewarding rides. Mm -hmm. Right. They took out that insight from an accounting book, mm. and they told the Uber driver, bro, listen, you stay here the entire day. Mm -hmm. 
Uber driver's revenue increased like two, three fold just because of that darn insight, right? Mm. And now the guy's like, okay, accounting is important. Mm. I need to figure this out. I need to use this in my own business or I need to use this in whatever I do in the future. Mm. That's the way this professor taught us as well. Mm.